It is that time, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a Miracle Box customer, we're going to show you how to upgrade your system when we return. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melvin. I'm with Miracle Box Media. And as a customer of Miracle Box Media, you've had the luxury of enjoying a done for you service, meaning that you never have to update your repositories. You never have to get into the, some of the complicated things you see on YouTube. We provide all of those services for you and you can just stream. Now, in this instance, we're going to do an upgrade. Now, why are we upgrading? Well, we're able to bring in a few new programs that is going to require us to operate on a different version of Kodi. Right now, by default, we have been creating things for 14.2, and now we're bringing in something that's going to give you a more enjoyable experience, but in order for you to enjoy it, you must have the Kodi version of 16.1. Don't worry, we've taken care of that for you, and we're going to show you how to do it. So let's start with step one. Step one is deleting the old version of Kodi. So we're going to call it deleting the Kodi. So what we want to do is we want to delete the old version of Kodi, which is 14.2, and we're going to put a new version on later. So let's do step one now. We're going to go over to the settings, and we're going to click OK. Now, once you click OK, you're going to see the menu here in the settings, and you're going to go all the way over to Other. Now, what you want to do next is you want to highlight more settings. Do not highlight system update. We will not be using that button. Now once you highlight it, click OK on your remote. And once you do that, then you want to find a category called apps. So we're going to go all the way down to apps. And you can just follow on screen. And I'm going to hit OK with my remote once it's highlighted. And we're going to look for Cody. Now, how do you know if you're going to be deleting the correct Cody? Well, we're going to show you that in just a second. So once you have Cody highlighted, as you see on the screen, click OK. Now, I want you to pay attention to the upper left-hand corner where it says Cody version, uh, version 14.2. Now, this is a version that we need to upgrade. So at this point, the only thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight the uninstall button. So I'm going to do that and we're going to uninstall Kodi 14.2. Now it's going to ask us a question. It's going to say, do you want to, do you want to uninstall this app? And we're going to select OK. All right, now just like that, the Kodi is gone from the box. So you just deleted Cody. Let me give you a smiling emoji. <laughs> so congratulations for doing that. And that wasn't too hard, was it? So the next step is, I'm going to put it on the screen, is going to be called adding new Cody. So this is going to be very, very easy for you as well. So now what you want to do on your remote is hit the return button or the back button to back out of this menu. Okay, so now that you're at the home screen, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a app called the Miracle Wiz. And most of you who have been using this box, you're very, very familiar with that app. So we're going to go to all apps and we're going to locate the Miracle Wiz. And there it is at the bottom. Now, once you found it, press OK to highlight it. And it's going to take you inside the Miracle Wiz, and what we're going to do is we're going to use a button that we never used before. So uh, don't get nervous. Instead of hitting Install Miracle, we're going to hit Install Cody. That's the very first button at the top. So we're going to press OK, and we are now installing the Cody. Now, depending on when you download this, this will go relatively fast. Um, it's going to depend on your server. It's going to depend on the time of day and how many people are on. And um, once it does, and it'll really just be quick. So we're going to wait for it to do its thing, and there it is. So once it's done downloading, and again, it could be quicker for some of you guys, or it could be slower. It's just going to depend on a number of factors. But once you see this screen, 
then what you want to do is you want to click install. You want to highlight that with your remote. And once you get to install, press OK. And it's going to install the new version of Kodi. Now we pushed this download out so you guys can have it. So you're installing this right from our server so it will be the correct version. Now once it's done installing, it's going to say app installed. And what you can do from this point is you want to press the done button. Now we're going to go behind and check to make sure that we downloaded it correctly. So let's do that now. So what you want to do is you want to hit the return button, the back button to get out of this. And then you want to go over to the home screen. And now you want to go inside the Miracle Media Center. And we're just checking to make sure that the Kodi installed correctly. If it did, we're going to see Kodi Jarvis 16.1. So we're going to highlight the Miracle Media Center and we're going to press OK on our remote. And there it is, 16.1 Jarvis. So we know we got the right Kodi. So congratulations if you've made it to this step. Um, we only have one more step to go and it will complete this demo. All right, so once you get here, do not panic. It's perfectly natural. We just deleted Cody and added a new Cody. So we have a blank Cody, but we have the version 16.1, which is great. So at this point, what you're going to do next is since we tested to see if we had the correct Cody, we're going to now exit this Cody. To do that, just press down once, press down twice, and you're going to be at a button to the bottom left corner which is a power type button. You're going to press OK on your remote. It's going to pop exit in front of the screen and you're going to hit OK again to exit. Now once you do that, you're going to be back to the home screen, which you are very familiar with. And from there, we're going to do step three, which is install the media center. And most of you are used to this already. So to do step three, we're going to go over to the Miracle Wiz once again. And the Miracle Wiz is one of the most advanced applications in all of open source media. So you really, really have a great uh, option on your box to be able to do all this stuff and just get the updates. So what we're going to do is hit OK. And instead of install Kodi, we just did that. So we don't need to do that again. All we have to do from this point is just hit install Miracle. Now, you've done this a couple of times, so I'm going to walk you through um, again, so as you know, when you highlight install America and you press OK, it's going to give you options. Would you like to restore the local data or download from the remote server? You always press remote server, never use local data. Now, local data for the purposes just of explaining this is just if you want to keep the same version of something and uh, you want to get rid of any new things that have done that have been done to the file. But in this case, we're trying to upgrade, so we want to get the most recent file possible to download. So we're going to click remote and we're going to press OK to download from our server. Now again, depending on how fast your connection is, this could take anywhere from 15 to probably 45 minutes or longer depending on your download speed. But either way, just be patient and allow this media center to download. It is over 460 megabytes, so it will take a while to download and compress. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to fast forward the download process. Okay, once you get the confirmation that says Kodi data successfully restored, then let me tell you congratulations to you. You have now installed the Media Center and you have completed your upgrade. So at this point, we're just going to check out everything and make sure everything is working perfectly. So we're going to click OK on the remote to get out of this screen and we're going to hit uh, return to back out or the back button. And now we're going to go back into our Miracle Media Center and we should see the completed version of everything. So highlight the Media Center and press OK. And you'll see that little splash to know that you upgraded correctly. And now you see we have 
all three of the media centers. We have the master user, kids, and adults. So everything is upgraded. You now have 16.1, and you now have everything that is available in order to allow us to be able to give you more updated apps. And one of the things I'm going to give you a sneak peek at is we did upgrade the live TV app. I'm going to show you that really quick. So we're going to go into master user. All right. And you see the categories at the bottom. If you go over to the live TV category, you can actually go through and check out the um, live TV. Now, you may have to give this a little minute just to propagate all of the downloads that we just did. And uh, so you may have the install um, notifications running across your screen or you may not. It just really depends. So we're going to go over to the live TV and we're going to go down to the TV guide. And this is where our live TV is going to be located. And uh, this is why we did the upgrade so we can actually add this so it functions perfectly with the 16.1. Now, the TV guide is going to show no program available, but that's completely natural. It's because the data that feeds it um, is coming in from different places, and we haven't quite uh, gotten it deciphered yet so it can show you what's coming on. But you do have the icons of the channel so you know exactly where you're clicking at. So here's what you want to do. If you want to just go and highlight a channel, we'll click one. Uh, we'll just do Fox, just uh, for all intents and purposes. So we'll click OK. And give it a minute because this is, this is a live feed now. You're going to see Fox in high definition. Stalked. And there we go. That is a high definition of Fox. And again, you know, this is live TV, so there's a flood advisory <laughs> in my area. So uh, that is a live version of Fox. Looks good. We'll get out of this. And let's go to another channel and keep in mind it's 3 a.m. in the morning where I'm at so it's not gonna be very much on TV so we'll go into CNN oh I'm sorry we went into Comedy Central just to kinda of show you the uh, the live feeds oh, yeah. and as you see there's uh, so do you Comedy you Central and um, like that looks the, good. It's a good looking picture. So that is the live feed that you will get when you do the upgrade. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you need any assistance or you want to keep up with all of our videos on how to, then visit MiracleBoxHelp.com. If you need any assistance, you can actually click a button and you can actually go to support and um, you'll be able to fill out a ticket if you need assistance. But this is where we're going to be placing all of our how-to videos. And uh, you'll be able to always go here and get assistance. Again, that's MiracleBoxHelp.com if you need assistance. And thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one.